Christ. Anyways, I was saying, um, I just want to give a big shout out to Amazon for for coming through and wanting to do this uh, project with me. Um, they, why isn't my computer? What is happening right now, boys? Okay, there we go. They came out to me and said that they wanted to shoot this with me, and and I was extremely honored to do that. So with that, I just I just got to say thank you for that. That was that was highly appreciated, and it's pretty dope. So here we go. We're going to start. Let's do it. Aha. Uh -huh. The one guy everybody's been waiting to see play is TSM Myth 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 Mythical. Ah, let's go, baby. Do we have any Myth fans in the house? Myth just ended Ninja. Let's go. Ninja. What's happening? He kept building up. Oh. I play video games online for a living, and this is what I always wanted to do. I made it. I got here. This isn't where it's going to stop. This isn't going to be the end. Hog Champion World Cup. <laughs> I regret wearing that hat. It's me! A lot of people think I am the best Fortnite player. Turn it here, let me try to turn it up. And maybe I am. Or was. But right here, right now. There you go, chat. They're about to crown the first ever Fortnite world champion. And uh I'm not even competing. Wait, can I make the volume louder? Like, there's only mute and unmute. This is the loudest it gets, chat. I'm sorry. This is literally the loudest it gets. Eating. Damn, bro. I didn't even make it past the qualifiers. The qualifiers. A few years ago, well, even a few months ago, that could have devastated me. But actually, Ooh. I'm feeling kind of okay with it. Yes, and I am. why that is, well, I think we got to go back to the beginning. <laughs> when I was really young, I wanted to be a professional Aww. golfer. So True. when the television was on, but no one was around, I just rolled all the way down to the PGA channel. I would watch golf for like hours. Crisscross applesauce, loving it. I asked my mom for a golf set one year for my birthday and she gave me classic toys and I was like, this is not what I expected. Very this is true. not it. That might have ended up <laughs> creating some other personality habits. I never used to ask my siblings for gifts. I hated asking them for gifts. Asked, Give me money. After like I got all my this birthday money, I got like $30 and I was like, Listen, dude, I was burnt. I got $30. I went to the mall with my mom and I was like, I want. I was burnt, dude. After, dude, after my mom got me that plastic golf set, I was like, and then no way in hell I'm letting anyone else in my life buy me gifts. Just give me money and I got it, dude. This Nerf blaster, it, it was ginormous. My mom was like, it's your money. I'm not going to stop you, but it's your money. If that's what you want, go ahead. I was like, yeah, I'm buying the Nerf blaster. I would be the kid that, that would literally story. walk around with a jar like, sis, you got any coins? Ma, you got any coins? I would go through the little cabinets in our kitchen and like look for like coins and pennies and stuff. Yoink! Like, hey, mid 40 school, hit that, boys. I packed a uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwich while my dad was outside and he yes, would give me sir. $3 of lunch money and I would save that until I was actually able to Yoink. get myself a gaming computer. So as a young kid, I learned how to be persistent. <laughs> if I wanted something, I was going to do my best to obtain it without pushing it onto others. Which brings me to the topic of my family. Ever since he was a little boy, he hey, was always my brothers. He was definitely few of them, like at least. We were really rowdy. These are a few of my brothers. You know, he always had good grades since the beginning of time. He'd always see the bright side of things. And these are a few of my sisters. He wanted to pursue gaming, and I went nuts. I didn't understand gaming <laughs> at all. And that is my mom. It's gonna get real weird. When I say my mom, I mean like my uncle's wife, because she's my mom. All right, so it's a little bit complicated. So I'm the youngest of nine. My mom couldn't raise children, so my uncle had to adopt us straight from birth. A lot of people initially are like, oh, that's so sad or, or whatever, but I see my mom every other Sunday. She would come over to the house and, and we would, you know, talk, hang out. I'm oh, like, look I'm at like little really me, dude. with the family that I have. I'm really, really happy to have them in my life. So I was very like secluded in my room and kind of doing my own thing. All my other kids went out, played, had fun. Everybody did I'll things. Go he too. was yeah, dude. he was home. I went outside. Games. He's been gaming since four, five. Dude, they try to see that. They try to brand me as a gamer. Even my own family tries to brand me as a gamer. 
It's not true, okay? I went outside, I was a normal kid. Back to PS3. We we're like, damn, he plays a lot of video games. You know, he'd come in and do his thing, and then he'd run back to his room. He proved to everybody that if you want something bad enough, you'll go out there and get it, and you will. Twitch is a platform where creators can go and produce live content of all sorts. After middle school, I really got into the idea of streaming. <laughs> I became like fascinated <laughs> with Twitch streamers. Like, you know, who are these people that just <clears throat> play video games you know for I a mean. living, right? Sort of at that moment, I realized that like, you know, you could really make something out of this and, and reach people because I was one of those people that was watching it every single day. I was always like doing the Twitch streams, but I would like close the Twitch channel because I didn't like the way it was going and I'll start mm -hmm. open a new one. But then I think it was maybe like freshman or sophomore year of high school, I sat down and I was just like, you know, I'm going to get serious. And I stuck with one channel yeah. I had like zero viewers. So Jay, I had um, like growing. OK, so so growing up, I always wanted to be a YouTuber. I actually like I legit always, always, always wanted to be a YouTuber. I wanted to be a YouTuber so badly. So. I, I used to make Minecraft Let's Play videos. I used to make like Call of Duty videos. I used to make like videos of any game that I played off of like, what, what was it called? Well, it wasn't in Elgato. It was like some off-brand Elgato company. But let's just say there are a lot of YouTube channels out there with my old like videos that I really don't want you guys to ever find. Nah, it wasn't a Dazzle. It wasn't an HD PVR. Roxio, yes. Roxio game capture, dude. I'm dude, I did an unboxing of my Roxio game capture, no meme. And that's on YouTube as well. So that's what every person's first stream starts off with. Then I worked, I kept going. After five followers, 10, 100,000, 100,000. Here I am now. Oh my god, oh my god, it's actually miss. I'm playing with miss. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. When I initially popped off, I was the only person that was really building the way that I was building in Fortnite. Some would say that I was literally the inventor of combat building and you know i appreciate those comments by the way you know we we know the truth you know it was me it was me we developed one of the most commonly used high ground takes in fortnite history which was placing a wall and then placing a stair and then doing that over and over again so that you could literally like build a ramp up so you could get height advantage over someone it's a lot of that stuff that really caught people's eye and, and made people interested in watching me the historical Ooh, 1v1. Shit. Summit We're going is a way very, back. very popular uh, streamer on Twitch. Me and him in a, in a fight going head to head. Every single person that originally started playing Fortnite, like back in the day, they know that fight. What? Facts, What's dude. What's happening? This is what Let it go, was. Baby. That was number uno, dude. He kept building up. Numero and building uno. Up and building up, and I couldn't catch him. Good fight, Summit. I like that. I've never seen that strategy. Some people would argue that was like the first build fight of Fortnite. That was the that was the number one. That was impressive. I'm not gonna lie. So the moment that, that I realized stuff. that my life is possibly gonna change forever was when I went to TwitchCon 2017. Fortnite just basically released and started getting a little bit of traction. They had this little booth with like 12 computer setups. We're like, True. okay, you know, line up, you can play Fortnite, cool. Like, you get a hat if you win a game. I was there every <laughs> they single they get day fucking hats. for the entire day for Wait. both days of the week. Should I move cam or are we good? Should I actually move cam or are we good? Okay, well, okay, 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 I'll move cam. What's up, Electra? How you doing? Bottom left, okay, gotcha. Sorry. Uh, come on, drag. I have so many, like, assets that are moving. It takes forever to drag. Okay, there we go. Good enough. There we go. Weekend. And I was just going through the line over and over. I think I won like six games over the weekend, which was mm -hmm. pretty absurd at the time. And they literally ran out of hats to give me. Even the people working the station were like, come on, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll prepare your hat for you and you win. Don't worry, like, don't worry, come on. The last game of the <laughs> last day, there are literally like 30 people around my computer watching me. I eliminate two people, get another one, build a little bit get my last kill and just everyone just goes crazy 
and everyone's just screaming and cheering, and I was like, whoa, like, there's Remember a lot of people watching me right now. King, that's, that's nuts. Fun fact, King Richard was, was there watching me at, at, at that moment, and he came up to me after, and that's the first time I met King Richard, actually. And after that event, a friend came up to me and actually told me, he was like, this, is, this game, this is your moment to become a streamer and to do it Stark. big time. So you better go home, Stark you better 2K, work your ass dude. off and give it all you got. My boy. Don't throw it away. And I looked at him and I'm like, I remember him, him that's the telling plan, me that, man. dude. Like, let's do it. Uh, that was the moment when I decided not to be a professional golfer. True. Oh, shit. Hello. So Team Solo Mid is one of the largest esports organizations in North America. Imagine Ooh. the Detroit Lions had a football team, a soccer team, a tennis team. You fall in love with the talent, but you also fall in love with the brand. TSM, we have a Fortnite team, we have a uh, League of Legends team, almost any esport that you can think of, TSM's there. The president of TSM Lions. followed Shut me on Twitter. Come on, and I was like, yo, <laughs> what are you doing? Yo, yo, why, what? <laughs> yo, does anybody see my Twitter feed? <laughs> President of TSM yeah, me on Twitter. <laughs> Look at my Twitter feed that day. <laughs> <I'm> not... <laughs> oh my god. I was talking about this dude i was talking about this <laughs> i was talking about the pictures but i just noticed this as well <laughs> oh man and i was like yo what are you doing yep why are you following me b Quit playing. For like a week, I was just like waiting. DMs, oh, nope, nothing yet. Oh, next day, okay, nope, nothing, all right. Now one day, she hit me up and she said, hey, we're interested in putting Lena, together a by the way. team. Would you be down to talk sometime? I don't know why I didn't and say I, her name at that this. point, yeah. I was like, Lena hit me up. I don't want to talk. Where's the contract? Like, I'm ready to sign. Ran out of my room bless, and I went, bless mom, up. dad, I'm gonna be a professional Lena gamer. Pog. And I'm gonna do this for a living. Then when I told me I'm gonna be moving out to California, I was like, yo ma, you don't got a choice, but I just wanna let you know I'm going to California. And she was like, what? I was so happy. I was just literally on top of the world. Literally the day that that announcement went out, every single platform that I was on blew up exponentially from there. So I have 5.3 million followers on Twitch. Instagram is 7.1 million and then 1.7 million on Twitter. Yeah, I grew a significant amount <laughs> right after I got picked up by I the team. I like you, cause it, uh, dude, whenever they go to my Twitter, it's some fucking memes. One of the, the good biggest times, benefits dude. of working with sponsors, and specifically Nerf, is that they love to send us a whole lot of blasters and a whole lot of goodies. Oh, Nerf's here. Nerf's here. What is yours? Hamlet. Titan CS50. Whoa. What is that? Oh, my God. Wait a it's minute. I feel like the little kid at Christmas right now. I feel like you were the favorite child. <laughs> Hold on, look at it. God. So since we have... Okay, look, I don't know if y'all are buying that, okay? But we all know damn well how these things come packaged, buddy. You don't just pull it out of the box, okay? You typically, you pull it out of the box and it's stuck to another piece of cardboard with a bunch of little zip ties that you gotta go... All right, I ain't buying your lies. All right, Myth, I ain't buying your lies. I know this shit was rigged, okay? I ain't buying your lies. All these blasters sort of like scattered around the house, like they've kind of become Jeez. an extension of ourselves Can't in a me. way. Freezing in here. 
<laughs> it really is, bro. Can you turn the AC down? Yes, I can. Oh, shit. Amlins, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, shit! Where did that even come from? I said, do not touch my donuts. Don't touch it, Hams. Don't do it. That's actually real. So, That's a real life shot. Myth, basically, is I wake up at 5 a.m. in the morning. Okay, this is old schedule, old schedule, old and schedule. First things first, time take out my retainer, brush my teeth. <laughs> the pores! And then start my stream by 6 a.m. <laughs> Sleep! 10 minutes, we are live, and I'm streaming to thousands of people. I load up Fortnite, I, I play that for about 10 to 11 hours. After that, I have <laughs> yes, four I or do. five hours of my day left before I need to go to bed. Most of the times, it's like a loop, six days a week, of just waking up, streaming, going to bed. Waking up, streaming, True. eating. He's in the bathroom, going to bed. True. Waking up, streaming, going to bed. And, you know, that, that goes on and on for the month and then the year. So I was just grinding it out, six days a week, 11 hours a day, and then... Epic announces the first ever Fortnite World Championships. Pong! And everything changed. <laughs> Going to the World Cup would be extremely phenomenal. The World Cup is the largest Fortnite tournament. This grand final with its millions of dollars in, in prizes. There was a weekly qualifier system for about two months. So my teammates and I decided that it would be really beneficial if TSM <laughs> put this up with the team house yeah, in we Texas thought. for two months. And just have a uh. more focus like boot camp style <laughs> place to practice and, and the then and then and then the <laughs> and then in-game ping went <laughs> and then in-game ping went okay my man all right my man you ain't gonna be able to get no walls primary goal was for all of us to try our best try our hardest course, to so you ain't getting no walls Cup. my I man really 20 ping tried my hardest to get there and and put my best foot forward <laughs> it was just really hard for me to find my chemistry with uh with the right player and that ended up leading to me not being able to really compete in one of the biggest tournaments. Dude, let me tell you how that line, dude, this line is like the story of my entire Fortnite career. Summed up, summed up into one sentence, you ready? With the right player and tried my hardest to get there and, and put my best foot forward. And it was just really hard for me to find my chemistry with, uh, with the right player. And that ended up leading to me not being able to really compete in one of the biggest tournaments ever. Fucking teammate limbo, dude. I'm not like mad at myself for not being able to go. But with that, you know, there were people that were, you know, that would be nasty and rude about it, like always. People have expectations, and when you can't follow up with them, they're gonna be disappointed or go watch someone else. Old myth. As I was declining on Twitch, uh, I was basically like the punching bag of the community. I started receiving a lot of hate. Uh, you know, people telling me to quit playing the game, quit streaming, quit Fortnite, quit everything. You're washed up. You're never going to get back where you used to be or whatever. At that point, I was, I was dealing with just going live every day for, the, for more so for the sake of it than me actually wanting to be it because I knew that every single thing that I did was going to be was going to be ridiculed, <laughs> hated on. The mistake you know, that cost me his career. Weren't uh -huh. able to connect with me because they weren't Damn, there to connect dude. with me in the first place. They were there to just experience this phenomenon, this 18-year-old prodigy kid that that you know invented building in this in the world's largest game. And so when I wasn't able to achieve those goals, of course they're gonna, you know, they're gonna feel like, uh, like they were disappointed or that I'm a failure. True. People wanted Myth to be on top and I wasn't able to. True. There's definitely been times where as I'm streaming and I'm in the middle of something, I was just like, guys, I can't do this. I'm sorry, I'm getting off. And I end it like that. I just didn't know how to navigate through a lot of the hate and the backlash that I was getting at the time. 
And that's why I think having friends, having family, people around you that you could reach out to is super important. I definitely want to have more of a social life. Of course, I appreciate my, my fan base and my community and, and the company that they do bring me, you know, as I'm streaming and whatnot. But it's sad a normal right teenager now, has a friend group. Me grinding so hard and wanting to be a content creator kind of stripped that away a little bit. True. After you hit that offline button, it's you just sitting there alone for the night or, you know, just not doing anything day after day. No one's hitting you up to go out. No one is doing anything, you know, that... That really, that, that's a lot different than, than my community supporting me in chat or on Twitter or on, uh, or, or on whatever social media site it may be. So when it comes to pulling those dark myself times, out of those dark times, I don't think there was ever like a, um, a eureka moment or something that happened <laughs> that made me realize that, you know, I'm worth it and that that I got this and then the next day I was just like ready to go. It was, it was definitely a, a longer process of, of building and shaping how I want to feel and just getting there. And I wanted to be happy. I wanted to feel productive what I'm doing. So what I did is I set out goals for myself. I said, this is the type of content that I want to put out. This is the message I want people to feel. I don't feel like this right now, but I'm going to and I'm going to get there. I may not be competing in, you know, the big extravagant $30 million Fortnite World Cup, but <laughs> I am playing in the Pro-Am and it's going to be a hell of a time. We're making it, boys! On my way to New York, I truly started to get excited about competing in the Pro-Am. This is an event where professional gamers team up with celebrity amateurs to play Fortnite and raise money for charity. I am grateful for this opportunity to stay involved time in the gaming York, community man. and do some good in the world, all while playing a game that I love. As I walk around New York, I can't help but feel like I'm exactly where I need to be. Yes, sir! So we're about to head over to the Fortnite Stadium. Honestly, I'm a bit hungry. I didn't even eat breakfast today. But guess what I got in my pocket? A little chocolate brownie flavor, Soylent Squared. 100 calories in this little bar. I'm bulking, by the way, if you, uh, if you haven't noticed. I've been actually bulking for 20 years. They're a sponsor of the show, right? We're just gonna talk about it, dude. Sometimes you get paid, sponsors provide the money. Straight up. This is all part of the gig, baby. But I actually genuinely enjoy it, too. They're not paying me to keep on eating it, like, off camera. They're like, hey, take a bite. I actually true. like it. Actually true. <laughs> Wait, actually true. <laughs> Dude, they're like, you know, just take a bite, and say something good. And I'm like, no, nah, it's kind of good. Sorry, bro. <laughs> That's right, guys. Oh, man. Look at it, baby. World Cup. Dude, I like, I like nah. being. No, nah, I'm not nervous. I'm just excited. I like being straight yeah, up like, about It's a lot of fun. I don't really get ads and shit. Nervous about like seeing the stage and stuff. Maybe you get a little bit nervous when I'm like actually in the chair and ready to go. But I'm just excited, man. I'm excited to play some Fortnite. And my esports psychologist has been helping me out a lot. Shout out to him. He's a homie. I'm excited for it all to happen tomorrow. Dude, I did not get a haircut before I went to the World Cup, did I? The back of my neck looked What is that? No, I didn't. So all I'm thinking is stay alive, stay alive, stay it's alive. My best competitive performance today, boys. They've had seven <laughs> eliminations. That means he has seven points for the boxer. Teammate is down right now. I can't get mad at my teammate you know, that hasn't really played the game. And after I popped off, boom, we're on top of the league. We're fourth place. No hesitation. Woo! Damn, dude, it's hot.
possible. Let's go. You know, I'm, I'm going to try to keep it going so we can get first. There's the man. Well, I, I think he can walk over there. He, he's out here to prove a point. Myth actually forgot to edit, and now he's in the store. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> Bye At the bye, end of the buddy. Pro-Am, we ended up placing 12th. We win $40,000 collected for charity as a duo. You had a great time. $20,000 for my charity, $20,000 for my My teammate did not know how to spread the game, no cap. a really good time, but even it's okay. though the odds were definitely not in our favor. <laughs> oh, Grime, what up, baby? Oh! I'm leaving this trip. What up, Sid? with such a full heart. Dude, this scene is so majestic. We were all able to hang out <clears throat> and have genuinely, literally the, the, the biggest bonding sesh that Fortnite has ever seen. This would reassure me that it's all worth it. Like, honestly. I had probably one of the best times of my life while being here. True. Voice. <clears throat> No, I just woke up when I recorded that, so like my voice is hella deep. Over the course of this uh, experience, like I've actually made a few friends. I've been going out more. I've I've gone to a party, a friend, my friend's birthday party. So yeah, we're doing it. I love it. I love it. The fire, the fire, the fire, the fire. You have to. It, it feels phenomenal, and it's like humbling in a way as well, because it's like, damn, like this is kind of what I always wanted. I've been on this journey of trying to incorporate more socializing into my life so that I could also, you know, be a better example for the people watching me. Are you happy? <laughs> Go outside, happy. kids, and socialize. Make some friends, you fucks. What it takes to be a streamer. Oh, no. 3K We're all Andy. like a bunch of workaholics. I'm lucky. We always want to push further into where we could go, what type of content we could create, who's it going to reach. One of the biggest tips of advice I give is as soon as someone clicks on your stream, you have five seconds to convince that person to stay. But you don't know when that person clicks into your stream. So you gotta really be out <laughs> of the game, especially in those early stages, because that's what's gonna separate you from the wave of people that just click the live button. I wanna be this person on the internet that shows that people that angle. they have an immense amount of potential, more than they uh, give themselves credit for, actually. And I know for a fact oh, that I need boys. streaming. Hold up, wait, out. wait. That's close. my ride. Yo, who remembers the fucking mouse cam? Oh man, good times. <laughs> who remembers the mouse cam, dude? Oh, let's go. Back in the day, <clears throat> that was that was some big energy. I know for a fact that I need streaming to. These subs are half off. Is this an actual stream from like back in the day day or did they like no no way I didn't have 5 million followers yeah, back then They like took a video and cropped it into here. That's, That's my ride to paradise I feel like I messed up that ending for us one second. There we go I'll redo it. Especially in those early stages because that's what's gonna separate you from the wave of people that just click the live button I want to be this person on the internet that shows people that they have an immense amount of potential, more than they uh, give themselves credit for, actually. And I, I know for a fact that I need streaming to get me there. So that's my ride to paradise. Fifty years, I want to be a farmer. Being 100% serious, urban farming and automated farming are two things that really like pique my interest when it comes to like not being a streamer anymore. I envision having a skyscraper in the middle of downtown Detroit that literally takes care of all the agricultural needs for the entire city. Yeah, no, no, it's like a weird passion of mine. It's kind of like a funny joke on stream too. I tell all my subs that if they start the getting stream, salad, I'll ship them a free salad in 50 years. They could probably sue me saying that on stream. Actually, I should probably really stop. It's probably not good, but that's what I'm interested in. Hog champion. What a video. Gonna get myself. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right, all right. How'd you guys like it? How'd you like it? How'd you like it?
Uh, how'd you like it? <clears throat> that was cute as hell. Did you guys like it? Honestly, honest thoughts. How was it? <clears throat> it was amazing. It was amazing. Oh. Yeah, look, you don't gotta lie to me, bro. Okay? Listen, the Amazon execs, they're not watching right now. Be honest. You're a great individual. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm glad you guys, I'm glad you guys liked it. I'm glad you guys liked it. Hey, not gonna lie though. Okay, I'm kind of pissed. I'm kind of pissed. I literally, dude, I had a five head idea. I had a five head idea when shooting this and they didn't put it in and I'm kind of mad. Well, I'm not like actually mad, but like I'm gonna act like I'm mad for the sake of me like being angry right now. Ah, anyways. So we were in New York, and guess what? We we're walking down the street, and dude, I plugged my Twitch Prime and my Twitch channel in the, like, as we were recording, and they didn't put it in. And they didn't put it in. Unlucky. <sighs> so I, I it, it, like, in my mind, dude, I was like, dude, sub revenue, it's gonna, it's gonna explode. They didn't even put it in. Unlucky. But it was, uh, this was a really good video. I liked it a lot. <clears throat> I thought it was very good. If you guys want to check it out as well, you can do exclamation point um, streaming IRL in chat and it will send you to the link. Uh, 